Hello, good afternoon, I'm back again, Lucha FM. Uh, another week, another episode of TW9 Fight Club Pro Local to Global. And then in last week, um, we kind of changed it up a bit. In the first episode last week, we managed to bring in better road agents, which improved the in-ring quality. Um, and then in the second episode, we managed to basically find the best women's wrestlers we possibly could. And uh, we have a hell of a women's roster now. We've got Jordine Grace. Um, we've got Maya Yamashita. Um, there's probably plenty of us, and I can't remember the top of it. We've got Millie McKenzie, obviously. Session Mark Martina have been there for a while. Um, so many, I, just, I can't remember. But I'll show you in a minute when we go through it again. So this episode, next episode, we're probably going to just concentrate on trying to do a mixed show of a few women's matches, a few men's matches, try and split it 50-50 see what happens there, see how we get on, and hopefully we'll, have, we'll all have a good time in the process. Um, I'm enjoying doing this save, I hope you are as well, so let me know in the comments section what you like and don't like, do you like the fact that I've brought in loads more women, or did you prefer it before, just keep give me some feedback so I know if I'm doing good or I'm doing bad. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. <laughs> right, so here we are, first show of the episode. We'll go with the Starworks as the main venue, as always. And we'll ignore this, as always. See what the uh, locker room incidents will come up with. So we've done the, we've got the training, training. And then Dan Reed was brought before wrestlers courts, accused of failing to pick up the share of the tab on the shared rental car. Um, the judge, Young Yakiyam, Akiyama, sorry, found him guilty and sentenced him to pay for the full cost and reimburse the travel partners. Uh, Shazza McKenzie was brought before wrestlers courts accused of making a mess backstage and cleaning it up and then basically Akiyama her sentence her to clean it up and then buy everyone drinks for the night. Uh, Lance Storm has been passing on his tip of psychology to his protege Tenille and doing the same for Tyre and then uh, Tessa Blanchard wants a pay rise, we'll just do half and then um, Grado tried to bring Ibelise to some backstage team building but only succeeded in annoying her and the grado tried to basically did the same with dean Aeus. um so right and i almost got into a fight with session moth martina after they caused some damage to a rental car and then mark haskins has got a lot of heat for the rest of the locker room for selfish behavior this seems to be a common occurrence with mark haskins lately um ck cooper has gotten into a lot of Heat back, uh, sorry, heat with the locker. Bleh, let me start again. TK Cooper has gotten a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room for his selfish behaviour. There you go. Sometimes I speak too loud for my, uh, too quick for my brain to function, basically. And then Yunagi Sayaka comes to you backstage with a creative finish. Black Terry has heard openly complain about Steve Linsky being the senior ref. Fujiwara has openly been complaining about Christopher Daniels being the senior road agent. And, um, Kawada's not happy with Christopher Daniels as the senior road agent. Angela Hay, Angela, sorry, Angel Hayes and Joe Lando have had to separate after a heated argument. The backstage room mill's been overdrived after Joseph Connors and Matthew Gregg apparently got into a heated argument. Okay. Um, I did, 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 did. Right, let's pull a rib on Mark Haskins. I think that's needed. He needs to be humbled. Very elaborate plot. Your rib has gone down well with the rest of the locker room. Good. Mark Haskins is said to have been upset by the attempted rib. Should have been humbled, not upset. Humbled. Right, let's start. So what I'm thinking of doing for the first match, we'll start with a women's match. And like I said, we've got a hell of a women's roster now. Let's just go through some. I've got obviously Amalia, Aaliyah James, Amalia, Mira. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to pick them all. I'm just going to pick the ones that people probably know. Charlie Evans, Chihiro, Hashimoto, Danny Luna. Actually, let's put Danny Luna in a match because I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. So we'll go Danny Luna. And we've got Emery Sakura, so we'll put her in a match. But we've also got Shida, uh, Ibelise, Holly Dad, Jetta, Jordan Gross, as I mentioned, Camille, um, Kylie Ray, Lady Frost, Lena Austin, Layla Hirsch, uh, Lizzie Evo. Maki Ito, in fact I'll put Maki Ito because 
I'm pushing her at the moment so she can have the first match. I'll do that. And then what we'll do, we'll have Makita go over because she's like I said, she's getting a bit of a push. We'll have an open match there. And then afterwards we'll have Makito character development. I'll just put Ito. Um we'll go was this no actually we're going to improvise. She did alright last time, improvised. Right, so that's that. Right. Now we'll go with a men's match. Men's. So we've got I'm thinking hmm, let me have a look actually. The men's roster hasn't really changed that much. But I do have a quite a decent men's roster at the moment. I don't really want to add too much to that. So what we'll do, we'll go Michael Oku. I'll do it this way, it's probably easier, quicker. We'll go, we'll go, we'll have him against Kenny Williams. We'll go 17 minutes. We'll do still the show. Open match. Leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. And we'll have Kenny Williams attack him afterwards. Right, so that's that. Um, now let's go back to a women's match. Um, and we'll go... Let's have a look through these. We've also got Winter. We've got... I'm going to give her a run out because she hasn't wrestled for us yet. She's supposed to be pretty good. Um, we'll also put her in the match as well. We'll see how, how these two work. So 15 minutes, leave it blank. And then what we'll do now is we'll go men's. And we'll go uh, Mark Andrews. Versus... I'm going to put Levi Muir in there because I'm trying to... No, actually I won't because he'll lose the match. So I won't do that. Um, Trend 7. I don't think they've had a one-on-one -on -one match yet. I could be wrong. They might have actually, to be honest, when Trent was champion. We'll just go 15 minutes. We'll go storytelling. And then what we'll do is... I think we've got enough time for one more match. We have. So we'll go Luke Jacobs versus Kid Lycos 2. Hopefully they'll have a banger of a match. We'll go 18 minutes, put the title on the line. We'll have Luke Jacobs retain. Um can't have two matches steal the show, so we'll just leave it blank. We'll go all that match though, see if that helps in any way. Okay, so we need to shorten the length. 15. There we go. Sort it, let's go. Right. In an exceptional match, Maki Ito defeated Danny Luna with the Ito special. The segment got a 52. The wrestling got a 47. Uh, both women did well. Started the show strong. The angle afterwards got a 48. Everybody loves Maki Ito by the looks of it. Uh, Michael Ohu defeated Kenny Williams by submission with the half crab. And that was an exceptional match as well. 61 for the segment, 51 for the wrestling. Michael Ohu was the better one out of the two with a 60 rating. Very good for him. Angle afterwards didn't do particularly well. Um, the other women's match that we put on, Unagi Sayaka defeated uh, to Sukasa Fujimoto and uh, beat her with the it was a good idea uh, the segment got 46 wrestling got 42 both we did alright um, nothing stand out but maybe we can put them in there with somebody else and they might perform better uh, Transcend defeated Mark Andrews exceptional match again segment got 56 52 for the wrestling both worked their asses off did well and then the main event, Lou Jacobs defeated Kid Lycos 2 
by submission with the figure four leg lock, Luke Jacobs makes defence number 10 of the Fight Club Pro heavyweight title. Um, the second got a 62, 55 for the wrestling. Uh, Luke Jacobs was the better performer out of the two. Didn't get any popularity, she didn't increase her popularity at all. Um, 59 rating overall and 70 people turn up. So the crowds are getting a little bit bigger for Blackout now, which is good. Just leave that blank. Let's have a look at the financial report. We made a loss of 12 grand. Not good. But it is what it is for now. That's all we can do about it. I think people doing the local to global promotion thing will understand. Right then, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we've got the next show lined up now. So, uh, as always, we'll go with the Starworks. Yep. <sighs> oh, sorry, pardon me. Um, don't bother with the booking meeting. Locker room instance. Um, so, Jordan Grace had a small backstage class with Grado, the morale officer. Lance Storm passing nice tips to Tanil and Tyre as usual. Training, training. Um, Amal has been spreading rumours about Dash uh, Chisato. It almost led to a fight between the two. Okay. Wild Ball's got into a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude, and there's signs that it could be a very bad situa situation if not handled. So I've got to do a rib on Wild Ball, uh, if I can remember by the time we get to it. Um, Steph Delander was brought into wrestler's court, accused of paying to pick up the share of the tab, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Des Robinson was brought to wrestler's court, failing to... Sorry, being an hour late picking up his travel partner. Joe Lando and Charlie Evans have apparently been hanging out a lot together recently. Apparently, the pair of Mark Andrews and Rampage Brown have been hanging out a lot lately. Uh, yep, we'll give Kenny Williams a pay rise. There's apparently been some um, heat between Black Terry and Steve Linsky. And then Wild Ball came to you backstage with an angle idea. Same with Kid Lycos 2 or 1. Um, Chris Hero is the same. Right, let's do... No, no, not the intervention. Uh, pull a rib. Elaborate plot. Wild ball. Wild ball is said to be upset with country rib. Oh, well. Oh, and unfortunately we've made Flash Morgan Webster unhappy as well, which is not good. Right. Let's crack on. So we'll start this show with a men's match. And we'll go men's. We'll do Christopher Daniels while he's still able to wrestle for us. We'll have him against Jody Fleisch. I'd imagine they would have wrestled many years ago somewhere. And probably did quite well. So we'll leave that blank. And then we'll just have Christopher Daniels. Um, being interviewed. And with that we'll just put Daniels interviewed. After the match, and then what we'll do, we'll do a women's match. We're very lucky to have this women's division, by the way. Like I said, Maya Yamashita. I know that's probably not how you pronounce her name, but it looks like Yamashita to me. So we'll have her against Satomura. Probably a dream match for a lot of Japanese women wrestling fans. We'll leave it blank. And uh, we'll do. Um, what should we do for Satomura? Let's have a look. Cutting a promo, we'll just get it to cut a promo. Um, Satomura actually wrestled for Fight Club Pro quite a few times. Um, I think she might have been their heavyweight champion at one point as well. So in real life, so that's good. So that's kind of transitioned nicely. Right, uh, we haven't done a tag team match for a while, so what we'll do is we'll go all out and we'll go four way tag. Let's put the titles on the line. Men's tag team division. Um, so we'll go with subculture. If it lets me do it. Versus life costume. Come on. There we go. Versus. We could do we getting Leon Slater in, couldn't we? I think we had him, didn't we? I think Oh, we had him for a few weeks, didn't we? A few shows. 
try and look I'll try and look to see if I can bring them in permanently. Uh, more than the hive, and then I'm just debating which who is going to be the last team we put in here. Um, more than the hive, malicious intent. We'll go with POD. Rampage can be trusted. Ashton Smith's pretty good. Go 20 minutes. We'll go open match. Still, oh, still the show. Oh no, we need to. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave it blank. We're going to. We might have a title change. I'll let the AI decide. <coughs> um. And then what we'll do is we'll do a six-way women's match to end the show. We'll have Millie, not Molly. Millie. Session Moth Martina, Jordine Grace, Killer Kelly, she's pretty good, Maki Ito, and <coughs> uh, Mercedes Martinez. Put them in there. We've got 18 minutes, we'll put the women's title on the line. And we'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. We'll go open match. We'll go storytelling. Yep. So we might have some new champions in this one. So hopefully that'll be exciting. All right, let's see how we get on. Start the show. So the first match, Christopher Daniels defeated Jody Flash with the Angels Wings. Got 49 for the segment, 46 for the wrestling. Both were pretty good. Jody Flash was slightly better though. Um, the Angle Atlas has got 42. Um, we need to give Christopher Daniels a script next time. And about the hard, superb wrestling and great heat. Maya Yamashita defeated uh, Miko Satamora with the Crash Rabbit Heat, which is an excellent name for a move. 53 for the segment, 56 for wrestling. Both worked really well. Kid Larkos 2, we need to stop him from being a road agent after this show. The angle afterwards got a 42. Um, Satomura enjoyed freedom being off script as well, which is good. And the four-way tag team match. Um, Subculture actually retained their tag titles, so they continue um, as tag champions. 65 for the segment, 53 for the wrestling. Who was the best one out of here? Uh, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster tied it. But uh, Kid Life Cost 2 did well as well. And then the women's match. Maki Ito is now the new women's champion. She defeated the rest. She pinned Mar Mercedes Martinez with Ito special. And uh, quite happy with Maki Ito as the women's champion. Because she is literally the star of our promotion at the moment by the looks of it. 54 for the segment. Um, 47 for the wrestling. And then Millie McKenzie... 54, I think she was the best one out of the, of the lot. Makito was just a 46, but she's just an absolute star anyway. She doesn't need to be the best worker in the world. Increased that popularity in one region. 55 rating overall. And uh, 68 people turned up. So, oh, not too bad. Just get rid of that. Let's have a quick financial report. Minus 12 grand. Still the same at 15 with the popularity. Right then, you know the score, we're back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back for the last show of the episode. So hopefully we'll go out with a bang. Uh, new women's champion, last, episode, uh, last show of the episode. So you never know. Right, Brendan White has gotten to heat dining with a fan out stay, uh, outside, sorry. Uh, Amelia almost got into a fight with Tamil. Soraya annoyed Ivelisse. So Ivelisse is going to defeat Soraya. Uh, Livy Grace was uh, basically accused of moaning about stuff all the time and then just found the guilty and sentenced to cheer up, cheer up Ethel. Um, Dan Reed has a small backstage class with Grado. Training. Training. Soraya Knight has taken Shikara under a wing as a protege. That might be good or bad, I don't know. 
Uh, Charlie Evans and Masha Slamovich really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage after somehow finding the karaoke machine and starting an impromptu pre-show competition. Their over-the-top duet was the highlight according to those in attendance. That's really good to see. Um, Mercedes Blaze come with an angle idea. Uh, let me know in the comments section. Do you ever like? It does it. Do you ever bother with when somebody gives you a creative idea? Do you ever do it? I just don't. Unless it was something like I want to. I would rather them come up with an idea going. I want to have a. Uh, I want to be in a storyline with a certain wrestler. I want to have a match with a certain wrestler. Or I want to do a certain gimmick. At least that would be interesting. This these these little features. I'm not really that much of a fan of. If I'm honest with you. Um. But yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. Right, so first match is a women's match. And it was, is it Soraya Knight and somebody? I can't bloody remember now. Ugh, it's always the way with me. Right. It was definitely Soraya Knight. And then who was the woman, the women's wrestler? Oh yeah, this is um street, this is called street fight event, basically. So, um... Who was it? Was it Zaya Brookside? Hmm, I don't know. I'm just looking up here now to see if any names ring a bell. I don't think they do. Oh, so annoying. I have the worst memory ever. It was definitely a blonde. I think it was Zaya. So we'll have Soraya lose to Zaya. Bet you can't say that ten times. Zaya Brookside, just leave it like that, the road agent, okay, um, we'll have Soraya get some heat back by attacking her after the match, right, so there you go, um, now we'll do a men's match. We haven't got much of a men's roster today, so maybe we'll probably just do more women's matches for this big event. But we can have, we can throw a few in there. Uh, I feel like we've done quite a lot of the same matches, so I'm going to try and pick some different people in this one. So we've got EC3. We'll put him in there against... Mm, yeah, so we got Lee Hunter. Lee Hunter hasn't wrestled for it. Actually, no, we'll put him in a different match. We'll put him against Levi Muir. I will let the AI decide. I know they're going to go with. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll let. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep strong. So even if EC3 wins, Levi Moore will hopefully do well in defeat. And then we'll just have. I don't know, we'll have Levi Muir attacking him afterwards. More attacks, EC3. There we go. Um, right, next match, another women's match. So, who should we put in here? We haven't had Yui, uh, Yu, Yu wrestle for us yet. We haven't had Sunil wrestle for us yet either, so we'll put them two in the match. Hopefully, they'll have a banger. So, that's that. Do another men's match. Uh, Callum Newman, we'll put him in there against Dasuki Sakamoto. 15 minutes. We'll have Callum win this one. And then, right, we'll do a couple more match. We'll do one more women's match and one more men's match, I think, to end the show. So we'll go. Women's, we'll go Dash Chisako, we'll have her against, who's the women's champion again? Oh yeah, Makito. Is Makito available? Yes, she is. Right. We'll have Makito in there, 15 minutes for the title, and then we'll have Makito retain open match 
Fallout match. No, Fallout match. And then we'll do an angle afterwards with Maki Ito. She's an absolute superstar. Put in a promo. There we go. Right. And then we've got enough time for one more match. We've got 12 minutes, so it's going to have to be a short match, unfortunately. So Luke Jacobs. Ah, Luke Jacobs isn't available. That's fine. Right. Men's. We go Trent then versus. Hmm, who can we put in against? Tempted to put Brian Alvarez in for a laugh, but it would completely kill it. Maybe Young Yakiyama. I think he's probably. Mm, yeah. We'll go with them, especially as it's going to be a short match. 10 minutes, and we'll just leave it blank. There we go. Right, let's start the show. So, yeah, obviously, Zai Brookside defeats Soraya Knight with the Brooksy Bomb. 35 for the segment, 31 for the wrestling. Uh, Zai Brookside with the 35 range, with the better one out the two. Good start to the show. Angle afterwards got a 27. And then EC3 defeated Levi Muir with the one percenter. Segment got a 34. Wrestling got a 35. Uh, EC3 was pretty good in the ring. They've got good chem great chemistry, so we'll put them in another match sometime. Angle afterwards got a 26. And then uh, Tanil Dashwood defeated Yoi. Got 47 for the segment, 44 for the wrestling. Both were pretty good. Yoi was better, though, was 47. Steph Delander did a good job as road agent, apparently, as well, which is good to see. Uh, Callum Newton defeated Dasuki Sekimoto. Uh, 53 for the segment, for, uh, 50 for the wrestling. Callum Newton was better one out of the two. And then Maki Ito defeated Dash Sisako. Um, she makes her first defense of the women's title. 50 for the segment, 43 for the wrestling. Uh, Maki Ito with a 50 rating, which is pretty good. The angle afterwards got a 63. She's just an absolute superstar, isn't she? She's going to get bloody pinched sooner or later from one of the bigger promotions I can just see it happening Trent Seven defeated Yun Akiyama with the Summer Stars Lariat 49 for the segment 43 for the wrestling I think this would be a perfectly acceptable 10 of ten minute main event for an indie show um, you know Yun Akiyama he's not as good as Trent but he, he did okay so not too bad overall we've increased our Popularity in one region, 50 for the rating overall, and then 104 people turn, which I think is our best attendance so far. And then we'll just get rid of that. Minus 10 grand for the event. We have made slightly more money. Ah, there we go. Increased our popularity to 16. So that's made a big difference. So if we get our rating up one or two points every month, before you know it, we'll hopefully have enough popularity to get a tv deal i'm just gonna have a quick look see if, if we have no so no tv deal for us yet uh, nothing to tell you about news or anything like that so on that note i'm gonna call it a day for this episode uh, i'm just gonna move this over here like so um yeah but thank you as always for watching i appreciate it as always the tw community has always been good to me um and I hope you enjoy the video. And anybody that's new to watching this video, I appreciate you coming along and watching it. I hope you continue to watch. And I'll be back um, in a couple of days' time with another episode. Enjoy the rest of your week. Speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>